जॉइंट स्टॉक कंपनीज इन दिस मॉड्यूल यू विल लर्न अबाउट जॉइंट स्टॉक कंपनीज देयर टाइप्स देयर मेरिट्स एंड डीमेरिट्स द जॉइंट स्टॉक कंपनीज एक्ट वॉज एनफोर्स्ड इन इंडिया इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स according to this act a joint stock company is defined as a business organization created by law having a separate legal entity with a perpetual succession and a common seal hene defines a joint stock company as a voluntary organization of individuals for profit having its capital divided into transferable shares In India the Joint Stock Companies Act of 1956 regulates the formation extension functioning and liquidation of all joint stock companies There are various types of joint stock companies some of these types include chartered companies statutory companies registered companies companies limited by shares companies limited by guarantee unlimited companies public limited companies and private limited companies foreign companies holding companies and undertaken companies formation of a joint stock company includes four important stages namely promotion registration or incorporation capital subscription and commencement of business Let us learn more about each of these stages in details. Promotion is the first stage in the formation of a joint stock company. Some people join together with the aim of starting a company and are called as promoters. They work as first directors to formulate a company. Promoters collect all the information needed for formation, promotion, financial requirement of the business they also prepare necessary documents like memorandum of association articles of association and prospectus for registration all the documents are then submitted to the registrar of companies for registration promoters also follow up the process to get the certificate of incorporation in case of public companies Promoters take required steps to pool the share capital. For public companies a name has to be chosen which should not be identical to any existing company. The promoters then need to submit the requisition letter along with all the necessary documents and prescribed fee to the registrar. The requisition letter must contain the proposed name of the company. names of first seven directors their addresses their consent to act as first directors along with two witnesses all the document must be duly signed by the first seven directors and countersigned by either a chartered accountant or practicing supreme court advocate the registrar of companies verifies all the documents thoroughly and upon satisfaction issues a certificate of incorporation important documents required for the formation of joint stock companies are memorandum of association and articles of association the memorandum of association contains the aims and objectives of the company the different types of shares and ways of subscription while the articles of association contain the rules and regulation regarding the administration of the company once the certificate of incorporation is received the directors issue prospectus to the public which results in start of capital subscription of the company a private limited company cannot issue a prospectus however in lieu of prospectus a statement is submitted to the registrar a public limited company cannot commence business just by raising capital
In order to start the business, a public limited company should get another certificate called as Certificate to Commence the Business from Registrar. Joint stock companies have a number of merits. In joint stock companies, the liability of shareholders is limited. There is no limit for shareholders in the public limited companies, which assure possibility of raising more capital. The shares of public limited companies are freely transferable, which encourages people to come forward and invest their money. In public joint stock companies, the death or insolvency of any director does not lead to the dissolution of the company. Rather, it has perpetual succession. There is a large capital investment and managerial ability which helps in large-scale business running. The large-scale production ensures goods to be produced at lower cost and to be sold at competitive prices. The public limited companies offer employment to a large number of people and also encourage them for saving. The public limited companies also contribute to the economic development of nations by paying taxes, rates and duties to the government. The administration of public limited companies is carried by the experts. Joint stock companies help a country to earn foreign exchange. Let us now look at the demerits of joint stock companies. The formation of joint stock companies is lengthy and needs to fulfill many formalities. The process is expensive, difficult and cumbersome. The shareholders are the actual owners of the company, but they do not take active part in company affairs. A large number of shareholders do not even attend the general body meetings. The directors of the company look after the day-to-day -day affairs of the company. There is no personal contact between the owner and the workers. Limited liability may sometimes lead the directors to take wrong decisions. The powers of the company are vested with only a few people who sometimes act like dictators. At times, joint stock companies even try to control the government. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on joint stock companies.